So this one is a little more complicated. We actually will have very few, if any, problems that end up working out like this, but I do like to show one because sometimes you can do it this way even though you don't need to. So it says there's three angles. When you subtract angle one from angle two, the result is the same as angle three. So I'm gonna color code those three. And I'm gonna come down here. Angle three, which is blue, is that one. Angle two is green, is that one. And angle one is yellow, is that one. So this kind of gives me the words right here. Subtract, that's obviously minus. The result is, that means equals. So what I end up having here, when you subtract angle one from angle two, that means it's green minus yellow, because I'm subtracting angle one from angle two. If I subtract two from four, it's four minus two. So green minus yellow equals blue. Okay. So let's go through and see what happens here. Uh, let's see. So green is 3x minus 6 minus, and then yellow is x minus 5. Now, there's one thing I have to do when I subtract. If I subtract, and I'm subtracting something that has more than one part, I have to put it in parentheses so that it gets distributed. That equals 4x minus 27. Now, again, this will probably either happen one time the whole year or never. When I distribute something with a negative out front like that, I have to pretend there's a one there, not pretend there is a one there. I have to put the one there and distribute that. So three X minus six minus X plus five, negative one times negative five is positive five equals four X minus 27. I have to combine some like terms here. Three X minus X is two X, negative six, plus five is minus one. Move the smaller x, so subtract the two x. And then add 27. And you get 26 equals two x. And you get x equals 13.